Zoax.net. Lesson 28. Debugging. In our first example, we have some headings and a horizontal rule above a biblical passage from the book of Sirach. We are going to examine this example via our developer tools and give you an idea of how they work. Opening this document, we see our H1 heading, our H2 heading, our H3 heading, and our horizontal rule with the biblical verses below it. With our browser window open and our document displayed, we can open our developer tools by pressing the function key and F12. Alternatively, we can click the three dots, select More Tools, and click on Developer Tools. Once we have our developer tools open, it should look something like this. Having the developer tools docked on the bottom is kind of inconvenient. To switch to docking them on the right side, click on the dots and left click the right side docking icon. With docking on the right side, our developer tools look like this. In order to see this correctly, you need to have elements selected. We start by selecting the HTML element. This makes the area covered by the HTML element blue. You can see the size of the area underneath it. And if you look at the third pane, you will see the size written in the blue region in the center. For a given element, we have a margin region, a border region, a padding region, and a content region, as this diagram indicates. However, for the HTML element, there is no margin, border, or padding, so the entire area is shown as blue. Now let's click on the body element. This element is shown as blue with an orange border. Looking at our diagram, we see that this orange portion corresponds to our margin. Notice that the margin area now has an 8 on each side. This is because the body element has a margin of 8 on each side of it. The border and padding are still empty, which is why there are dashes in these regions. Now let's click on the H1 element. This element only has margins on the top and bottom. This is reflected in our diagram as well. Notice that the H1 element has about 8 pixels of white on each side. This is because it is inside the body element that has an 8 pixel margin on every side. One curious thing to notice is that the H1 has larger margins than the body. If we look at our body element, we notice that there is a white space above it. This is because the body element is shifted down by the larger H1 margin. When we look at the H1 element, there is no white space above its margin. This should give you some feeling for how margins work. Even though the H1 element is inside the body, its margin manages to affect the placement of the body element. We can continue clicking on the H2 element and see that it too has a top and bottom margin. Likewise, the H3 element has a top and bottom margin. These all vary in size, but are otherwise the same. Once we get down to the horizontal rule element, we see something strange. The element itself is all border. It consists of a border of size 1 along each direction. Notice that the internal area is of size 0, so it has no content area. It also has a top and bottom margin of size 8. Finally, we can select a line of text like this. This just has a blue content area. Also, since it is not an element, it does not have an associated diagram for its regions. To get more information on our elements, we can select this button that reads Select an element in the page to inspect it. With this selected, we can hover over our elements to get more information about them. For example, we can hover over the H1 element and we get information about the text color, font, and the rest of it. Similarly, we can hover over the body element and see the same information about it. All of this is useful for debugging as we will see. Our second example contains an unordered list of the joyful mysteries with a heading above it. All of this is contained inside a div. Opening this document, we see our list with the heading above it. Again, we will open the developer tools by pressing the function key and F12. We begin by selecting the div. As we have noted before, the div is just a block level container. It has no margin, border, or padding. In fact, if we look at the styling, it simply is a block level element with nothing else to it. Opening the div element and clicking on the unordered list, we have this. The unordered list has a top and bottom margin of 16. 
It also has a left side padding of 40. That is the green region that we see here. This is the first element that has had a padding region, and it is especially strange since the markers sit inside the padding region as shown here. We can drill down further and select individual list items. We can even open up the list items and select the markers within the item, or the text of the element, like this. So now we have seen elements with each of the types of regions around it. The body and heading elements had content regions and margins of various sizes. The horizontal rule had a border of size 1 on each side, as well as a top and bottom margin. Finally, the unordered list had a padding region as well as a content region and top and bottom margins.